This is my Iron Man series on Deflect RSPS. Starting from scratch, I'll be working towards the best in slot gear and upgrades while also being completely self-sufficient, which I mean is of course how the whole Iron Man thing works. But either way, sit back and join me on my adventure to becoming the best in slot Iron Man. If you want to play Deflect for yourself, a link to their Discord is in the description. Once you join the Discord, head over to the official links section and download the client from there. I'm also giving away a $25 book to one lucky winner, and if you want a chance at winning this book for yourself, then all you have to do is comment your in-game name, and I'll pick the winner in a few days. I'm gonna start things off, of course, with a quick shout out to Bobs for winning the last episode's giveaway. Definitely don't forget to enter today's giveaway. Well, it's time for the Iron Man series to begin on Deflect. I'm gonna start off by completing the Starter Slime achievements for beginner weapons, uh, pest control points, and also some free debones. And there we go, Starter Slime achievement finished. I also just used all of the dragon bones that I got from the slimes on the Chaos Altar in order to get 72 prayer. And that's perfect because now I have access to all of the beginner DPS boosters for each combat style, and I'm also on on hard mode so I have infinite prayer and I never have to worry about that and of course I do have to go ahead and get my elite void but I also need to train my magic and range tier mainly so I'm gonna start off with the baby brawlers and then I'll move over to the blue ones once I'm leveled up enough I do know that I'm kind of speed running through the early game here but I got my full elite void set up now and I should have this for quite a while I just don't want to bore you all with the beginning episodes being the exact same as it was in my road to dark fire or anything like that so I'm just getting it going however this is where things start to get a little bit unique because I'm of course going to need a bunch of items to start off with my first few upgrades, mainly raid items and crystals for armor. And I'm also going to need a bunch of burn points throughout this entire series. And typically most people would just run raids early on to get all of those items, but I am still doing my road to dark fire episode in the background. And that is my main priority right now, especially since I'm really close to finishing that off. So what I'm actually going to do is that I'm just going to go camp out all of the global bosses. So every time a dark fire dragon spawns in a uh, donation boss vote boss global boss any of them i'm just gonna go ahead and farm them on this account and yes i did say that i'm gonna be doing this for weeks like i said i'm mainly gonna be focusing on the road to dark fire series during this time but whenever those bosses spawn up i'm switching over to this account and i'm gonna go ahead and farm these keys and hopefully get a couple of hundred keys to begin my journey and my goal with this plan is just to get enough items and burns to get some half decent armor and maybe a divine weapon or two to start off the series and even if i don't reach that goal then i'll still probably get extremely close to doing so remember we're talking about hundreds of keys here and i'd assume anything from 300 to 600 i mean i should get a lot of loot i'm gonna be honest i should get a bunch of loot i've already gotten about 20 keys here and that's just from half a day so the 300 to 600 keys goal doesn't really seem like it's going to be that difficult to get but that's really all the information that I have for you right now I guess the next time that you'll see me I'll have completed my road to dark fire series and I'll have all of my keys ready to be opened if you're enjoying the content then definitely consider joining my discord server this is the best way for me to interact and engage with everyone on a more personal level I spend plenty of time here every single day so if you want to chat or just hang out for a little bit then feel free to do so on top of all of that I'm planning on doing plenty of fun updates events and giveaways on on this server. The link to join will be in the description below and I'd love to see you all there. Okay well it's been about two weeks since the last clip you just watched and I have around five days of playtime and I maxed out my combat stats with 7,000 sand crab kills but most importantly I have an insane amount of keys. I know for a fact that I'm skipping the early game with all of these keys and maybe even the mid game too if I get really lucky with certain items. Another underrated thing here is that I have a crazy amount of rips for any extra blood money or burns that I may need. By the way, there is a little bit of a change in the plan here. I'm not done with the Road to Darkfire series yet, but I'm very close to being done, and there's just a lot of grinding involved in that, so I don't think I'm going to be uploading four episodes a week. I'm just going to stick to one episode, and for the Iron Man series, I'll do probably three episodes a week. So the Road to Darkfire series is still going. I'm just starting this in the meantime. That way I have plenty of content for you guys. Anyways, I'm going to start off by opening all of my donator keys, and I'm going to claim all of the books from this, so unlike my Road to Darkfire series, I will actually get all of the benefits from donating, which, I mean, I'm just using the books, I'm not actually donating, so. Anyways, I'm still getting the benefits, <laughs> that's all I'm trying to say. And there it is, $33 in books, let's go ahead and claim that, and now I have a little blue gem and 20% drop rate. Okay, now let's see if I get anything good from these vote keys. Uh, nothing too exciting outside of a couple of dollar books. Okay, and of course, let's go ahead and get 
started with the global boss keys. All right, I got another book and some decent burns from that. But now this is where the fun begins because I'm going to go ahead and open up over 600 divine keys, which is worth like 20 mil. Keep in mind, if I would have just gotten this on my main account, the Road to Darkfire series would have been over. Okay, well, I just spent an hour opening everything up and I'm pretty surprised by the loot. Of course, I got a ton of items, but I didn't get everything that I need for upgrades. For example, if you look at the collection log here, you're going to see that I didn't get a single Inquisitor's Crystal. So instead of flying through armor upgrades early on, I'm actually going to have to camp the Nightmare for a decent while to get six crystals. This is also all the resources that I got from Keys. It's not important or anything. I just thought I'd show you in case anyone was interested in it. I'm also up to 14,000 Dark Fire Points, so once I get access to that area, I'll definitely be buying something from the shop but i guess i'm just going to go ahead and start upgrading items and burning my items that i don't need and again i'm just going to kind of skip through this and just show you the end results because i still have a lot of stuff planned and i don't want to throw in a bunch of filler to the beginning intro episode to this series okay actually i just started off by burning most of my items that i didn't need and i'm up to 1.5 mil burns which is incredible unfortunately i'm going to be spending all of those burn points right now on gear so it was nice while it lasted the first thing that i'm doing is getting the Saradomen stability book and elixir and also an unlimited overload because that is super important for anyone but especially for me since i'm on an iron man i really don't want to be fishing for sharks or anything like that so i'm just going to go ahead and get this. I also forgot to mention that I do have four mil blood money, which is pretty important, but I just forgot to mention it for some reason. All right, well, this is kind of pathetic, but at the moment, this is all I really can make when it comes to upgrades. I'm basically one item away from being able to do all of my major upgrades. For example, the tier two combat weapons. I also didn't get my Inquisitor's Crystal, so I can't make a Sorrow set. I also didn't get any Seer's Rings, so I'm out of luck when it comes to that upgrade. And I also don't have a Den's Bulwark, so my shield is gone as well. I'm I mean, I still do have plenty of items here. The problem is that they're just all dupes and I'm just one item away from most of the best upgrades that I can get. So yeah, that's honestly pretty depressing. I'm not going to lie. After 600 keys, you'd think that I could probably get a little bit more than what I got now. I need a twisted crossbow. I need an inquisitor's mace. I need an orb. I need inquisitor's crystals, of course, occult necklaces and even Pagasian boots. So yeah, if I was just a little bit luckier, I could have made a lot of better upgrades, including best in slot ring, best in slot shield. I just got really unlucky honestly. The keys just did not do me any favors here. But anyways, enough complaining about my luck there. The next step here is to get a cape of deflect. So that's how I'm going to finish out this video. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm going to go ahead and make a big two mil purchase on a tier three pet for a huge damage and drop rate boost. And that should be the kill right there. Yep. Infernal Cape acquired. Finally, there it is, the four cats head. I almost got to 50 KC again. That was very close to being back-to-back -back series where I had to get 50 KC to get the head here. And now I just have to go ahead and take this awkward setup to the mage arena and get my capes. And again, I don't really see the point in dragging out these kills here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut to me getting the capes for this as well. And just like that, I have my three imbued god capes. This is by far my least favorite grind for upgrades because it's just a lot of boring mini grinds that you have to do but at least it's all over now and I have my cape of deflect nice I think in the next episode I'm gonna head towards the nightmare and try to get those crystals and make my sour armor set but I'm not too sure on that yet I'm just kind of thinking out loud anyways that's where I'm gonna end today's episode I kind of just wanted to skip over the early game as fast as possible and get right into the entertainment of the actual series if you did enjoy then let me know by leaving a like and if you want to see more content like this in the future make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on that way you never miss any of my content